you're new, hello, my name is Debra. Welcome to my channel, Dobo Chobo. If you're not new, welcome back. Why did I say that so weird? Welcome back to my channel. It's great to have you here. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'll be bringing you guys a video that no one asked for. And that is a what's in my backpack video. I used to watch these all the time when I was growing up. And so it's super exciting to finally be able to make my own. I adjusted the angle, so hopefully I don't like smack my head on this corner. But this is my backpack. I recently got a new one. And let me tell you guys all about it because I have a lot to say. This is the backpack. It is from Day Owl and it's literally called the backpack. Like that's that's the name of the backpack, the backpack. Um, but I love it so much. During the past year and a half of COVID, I didn't really need to use a backpack because all my classes were online and I was usually at home most of the time. But now that I'm finally doing in-person classes in college now, I decided to invest in a really good backpack that will hopefully last me all throughout college and for many 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 years beyond college I got it in the color pale olive and at first I wasn't sure if I liked it or not because it is kind of dull um, compared to like the rest of me I guess I don't know but I decided that this would be a little bit more of a realistic option if I wanted to keep using it um, once I graduate college and while I'm an adult I think this color would suit my style as it evolves throughout the years but one of the many reasons why I love this bag is because of how many pockets there are I am a sucker for pockets and when I saw the demo video um, on their website I knew I just I had to get it but another reason why I love this backpack so much is because it is ethically and sustainably made um, I forget all the details but I know it's made from recycled materials and plastic water bottles, which I thought was super cool. I don't know, this video is not sponsored. I just I just really like this backpack and um, I really love how transparent they are in their mission to be more sustainable. If you didn't know, I go to the University of Washington in Seattle and the campus is really freaking big. So I'm walking everywhere, I'm on my feet all the time. And so I try to only keep the essentials in my backpack so that it isn't too heavy. I've been talking about this backpack for a very long time. Let's get into what's actually in my backpack. We're gonna start off with the very back pocket, which is actually a laptop sleeve. This is where I keep my MacBook. It's in a very decked out case with a lot of stickers. I am constantly on my laptop because I use it for both schoolwork and editing. Next, we're gonna go into the main compartment of my backpack. Since I only try to carry the essentials in my backpack, I really don't have that much stuff in here. Um, these are the two notebooks that I use for school. I use this notebook for taking notes in my history class and I use this notebook for taking notes for my nursing class that I'm in. I was the type of person in high school that never ever finished their notebooks by the end of the year. And so now that I'm in college and my classes only last for about 10 weeks each quarter, I found that these thin notebooks are really the perfect length for taking my notes in these classes. Theoretically, I could do all of my notes online because everything is online nowadays, but I found that I spend so much time staring at a screen, whether that's editing or doing schoolwork, that forcing myself to take a break and write notes is actually a really good break for both my eyes and my hands because I tend to get like wrist pain when typing and using the touchpad a lot. And you also quickly realize that I'm kind of obsessed with this character. Um, this is Tube from Kakao Friends and I don't know why but I just like I really relate to this character a lot so I have a lot of their merchandise which you'll quickly see. Exhibit A is my water bottle. This is a water bottle that my mom got for me in Korea. It says Harvest Friends on it and it's really cute. Um, this has the Kakao Friends characters but like the baby versions of them. Um, this is Tube looking very cute it's very dinged up as you can see but i really like it because it's small it's not too heavy and i can also carry tea in this and it keeps the tea hot for a very long time this is your sign to sit up straight and go hydrate exhibit b of my tube obsession is my pencil case this is also a pencil case that i got in korea but I really like this because of its duality. Um, can you tell that I am a Gemini rising? I have a little keychain of 
Winnie the Pooh in a pineapple costume. I've had this keychain for like at least 10 years, probably longer, and it looks like it's been chewed up by a dog. And honestly, I think my dog has probably chewed on this, but I just can't let it go. I love it too much. It has too much sentimental value to me, and so I refused to get a new keychain. But anyways, if we open up my pencil case, um, I don't keep a lot of things in here, just the essentials, like I said before. I have a little 6 inch ruler that is also like 15 years old. I have these four Muji pens in size 0.38, which is the superior pen size. And you can fight me on that because there is only one answer and that is 0.38. Um, but I use these for taking all my notes. I have these two random pens and two pencils, two mechanical pencils. This mechanical pencil, I only keep it around because it's cute and it has tube on it. Um, I'm sorry, even though you're cute, you're not very functional. This pencil um, is actually really good. I just, I never use it. I just keep it around in case anyone needs to borrow a pencil so I can be that person who like, hey, you can borrow my pencil. It's pretty good. I have a very dirty um, Stadler eraser because I like to stab it when I am feeling anxious um, and, and it's also to give it to the person that I'm lending the pencil to hypothetically and some lead for the hypothetical person I don't even know why I have pencils in my pencil case if I don't even use pencils but then if there are no pencils in my pencil case then is it really a pencil case? anyways I also have some sticky notes and of course mild liners I first got these mild liners when I saw Conan Gray had them in his backpack tour that I watched years ago but I've been using them ever since and they are tried and true the perfect highlighters for all of your aesthetic note-taking needs and I also have this little whiteout pen from Muji that I use for correcting all of my mistakes because I create a lot of mistakes but I refuse to use a pencil it's a personal problem and that is everything in my pencil case. I've had this for maybe four or five years now and it has held up very well over the past years. I have my MacBook charger with a very cute little cord eater. Although the more I look at it, the more violent it looks. The last thing in this main compartment is my little essentials pouch. This is a pouch that my mom got for me at like a garage sale years ago. Um, I'm pretty sure it's handmade by someone's grandma or something because of the stitching and like you can literally see the pencil markings that says Country boy, I love you. There is a lot of stuff in this tiny little pouch so let us see what is inside. First off, I have an emergency pad and panty liner. This cute little mini mirror from Korea that I use for like Checking to see if there's anything in my teeth Hand sanitizer for obvious reasons A rosebud salt that I've had for years which I use to moisturize my cuticles Floss I also have a little rollerball perfume This is Chloe's love story And I'm pretty sure my mom got this as a gift from someone But she doesn't wear perfume so I stole it from her And it's very convenient for traveling I have this cute little vitamin container Someone asked me where I got this from and like with everything that I own, it's from Korea so I don't really know where you can get something like this I keep over-the-counter pills like Advil, NyQuil, and allergy medicine in here and in this little bigger section, I keep cough drops and some Peppa Pig and Jojo Siwa band-aids Don't ask me where I got those because I honestly don't remember but I have them and they actually come very in handy sometimes In my pouch, I also have a variety of hair ties and little scrunchies eye drops in case I'm wearing contacts that day and my eyes get dry a tie to go pen because I'm a very messy eater and I use this a lot more frequently than I would like to admit a lip balm that I got for free um, when I got my wisdom teeth removed and I like this one because it has SPF in it and it smells like orange creamsicle and finally I have an extra pen, nail clippers, a headphone adapter, and some bubbles <laughs> and yeah, that is everything in this pouch Alright, and at the top of my backpack there is a tiny little pocket which I use to keep hand sanitizer, some more lip balm, gum which I chew whenever I start to get um, really sleepy in class because this wakes me up and two little candies There are two little sneaky side pockets too 
and on the one on the right i have a little keychain of baby ryan he's very cute and squishable but in here i keep my umbrella because it is always raining in seattle which exhibit c is also tube I really like this pocket because it's insulated from the rest of the backpack and so if my umbrella is wet you know it won't get any of my other stuff wet there is another little sneaky pocket right here and this is just where i keep my keys and i just keep them in here because i can easily access them while my backpack is like still on this is a kate spade wallet that i got for my 19th birthday and i really like the color of it it's so pretty i also have my dorm room key which i will not be showing because apparently People can like copy keys off of pictures which is so scary but like I guess that's the kind of world we live in now where we can't even like show our keys on the internet because people could copy them I also have this really cute keychain from one of my favorite artists on Instagram and of course we have Yeonjun inside there's just like typical wallet stuff credit card, license, vaccine card um, which I will not be showing because I do not want to be scammed Last but not least, we have the front pocket which is also where all of my pins are A lot of people ask me like, aren't you afraid that your pins are gonna fall off? Yes, I'm terrified which is why I recently got these locking pin bags from Amazon I haven't tried them out yet but apparently they make it so that it's almost impossible for your pin to come off of your backpack so I'm going to be doing that very soon This is just a very small collection of some of my favorite pins I definitely want to put on some more now that I have the locking pin backs but they are all very precious to me I really like how my pins all have like a little story or memory attached to them um, that's why I love collecting pins so much but on the inside of this front pocket there's not very much because it's pretty flat I have an extra cord I also have this Ziploc bag of menstrual products um, because those two pads in my emergency kit bag were not enough We gotta have more I want to get a cute little pouch because although the ziploc like works, you know, it's not giving it it's, it's really not and last but not least I have my airpod case. This is Tata. He's very cute um, Keeps my airpods nice and protected I got it from an Etsy shop that I will link down below Anyways, that is everything that is in my backpack I talked a lot like I normally don't talk this much in my videos but I had a lot of fun showing you guys and just like rambling on about everything that is in my backpack so thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time Bye!